when I made the decision to participate in the trial. I didn't think that I'd have these um, stem cells injected and walk the next day. I feel like I'm a part of something that's bigger than me, or bigger, bigger than everyone in this room. And so moving my big toe isn't as important as having been able to participate in the trial and give something back and hopefully move the field, field forward. So we're at the CIRM Alpha Clinic Workshop, which is a workshop where we're bringing together stakeholders from all areas of cell therapy development. We're still trying to define Alpha Clinics, so it's quite interesting to hear you know, the different points of views and hear how the conversation progresses over the course of the workshop. The reason why we're developing or thinking about developing alpha clinics is because of the fact that we believe that stem cells have the capacity to revolutionize the practice of medicine. And we're so committed to making this happen in the correct way that the idea of really creating a new way of delivering the cell therapy and monitoring the patients the way we think need to be monitored, this makes it an exciting meeting to be able to address this and hopefully lead the world in, in how we're going to deliver such therapies. My personal opinion, an alpha clinic is going to be a specialized center where we can think about the most um, rapid and efficient and scientifically medically rigorous way to deliver stem cell therapies into human subject trials. It can be a virtual knowledge base that investigators can access the combined experiences of other investigators. To me the Alpha Clinics mean uh, a center of excellence where you can uh, provide advanced cell-based therapies to patients in a very controlled, regulated fashion, uh, but also really helping the rehabilitation uh, at the clinic as well as at home. The requirements for delivering these products are not the same as delivering small molecules or pills in the bottle. These are cell-based products and there are special requirements for storage, shipping, and administration to the patient. Doing that in the right way is going to be absolutely critical to the long-term viability for the field. Stem cells can actually live for the life of the individual. One of the things that we have to do is see how these cells track in the body. They may go places you want them to, they may go places you don't want them to. That there is a great clinical infrastructure in California and some of the top scientists and clinicians in the world work in California so we have a great base and we certainly don't want to duplicate anything that already exists but it is not tailored to delivery of cell therapies and it's hard for the lay public to vet what is going on at stem cell clinics that are advertised around the world and I think an alpha clinic can be a gold standard that sets apart it sets what the rigor should be how these kinds of experiments, how these initial clinical trials and later treatments should be carried out. One of the reasons why I had some regrets about participating in the trial uh, was not really knowing uh, if, I if I would have naturally recovered on my own and gained function back. I think one of the things that would really help with that is if uh, the patient knows and really understands their type of injury and um, the severity of it and you know all the statistics of how others have recovered because that's how I ended up um, being able to come in terms with it. You know where a patient could walk through a door and have an array of services and educational materials um, and procedures um, potentially available to them. So it's, it's actually quite complex <laughs> and at the end of this we hope to have be able to sort of map it out and say this is what we think the Alpha Clinics will look like. And from there we'll, we'll develop, a, develop a white paper from which we can actually then put a proposal to our board about what we should do in engaging in, in, in development of clinical trials in California. The pace has been so quick um, because the field has been so stimulated with an influx of funding, an influx of researchers, the real feeling that this is a potential that can be transformative for medicine. It's incredibly exciting.